Yeah, it's a flywheel that I picked up a short while ago. Um, the person that I bought it from obviously had it sitting on a shelf for a while, hence all the the surface rust, which I need to remove. Um, this flyway, flywheel was originally Blanchard ground. Um, don't know if you'll be able to pick it up in the in the video. Not likely, but I can see certain marks in it that shows that it has been Blanchard ground. Now we all know Blanchard ground grinding is the proper way to recondition a flywheel. However, for a long time now, I've had my suspicions that the people who regrind flywheels do not actually take enough material off when Blanchard grinding enough material to get below the work hardened surfaces that eat up the clutch um, so this video is going to show me sticking the flywheel in the lathe and cutting it to see the condition of the material that's actually left behind by the Blanchard grinding have they cut far enough inside to remove the hardened spots or not all right we're in the lathe all clocked up ready to go i'm taking a 0.2 millimeter cut Let's see where she goes Here we go. Exactly what I was thinking. All these little shiny spots, I suppose you could call them. Those are all surface hardened. That is much harder material than the material around it. So as you start using your clutch, all the material around it will get worn away and those high spots will remain and that will destroy your clutch a lot quicker than it should. That was 0.2 millimeters a cut. Um, I'm going to take another few cuts and then I will show you the result afterwards. Alright, yeah, you can see there are no more hard spots left on the flywheel. I had to take a total of 0.7 mil off the surface for it to clean up. And then I took another 0.2 mil finishing cut just to get it to be nice and neat and ready to be used. Next step now is the clutch mounting surface, the pressure plate mounting surface. I'm going to cut that to the right size of the OEM spec so that the pressure plate works with the correct pressure as per the new friction surface which I've moved in slightly. Okay, here we go. Finished product. Both surfaces reground, or cut in the lathe to be more specific. Um, no hard spots this time. Flywheel is actually ready to use. Um, what can we take from this? Well, there's no disputing that Blanchard grinding is the way to do this. The surface finish is much better than what I can achieve on the lathe. However, as we saw, Blanchard grinding, if not done properly, will leave hard spots on the flywheel which will rapidly wear out your clutch. Um, are the people who do the Blanchard grinding trying to rip us all off? I doubt it, more than likely. They're just not educated enough to even know that those hard spots exist. It's just factory run one after the other. This is your job, you Blanchard grind, end of story. No training required other than how to operate the machine so yeah take take from it what you will i will continue to cut my flywheels on the flywheel on the lathe purely because i know what i'm getting and i don't trust anyone which is why i double check all of these things